Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to do your reading and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces? Okay, we're just going to shuffle three more times, Pisces. Pisces, let's find out what's going on in your energy. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. What's happening with Pisces? The Hermit. Virgo energy. The Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Four of Wands, the World, okay. These cards are just like wanting to jump. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. You're going to be getting communication from someone here, Pisces. Someone that betrayed you. Someone, I'm feeling like this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Actually, see the Ace of Swords is here. Okay, so whatever you're doing, Pisces, you got this. Because you're standing up. You've been stabbed in the back, betrayed. This is more than once. These are ten swords in the back. And I'm seeing you moving from that to the Ace of Swords. This is success and victory. It's a brand new beginning. So let's find out what's going on here. You're in an energy right now where you are really trying to find out information here. You're looking at all of the options in front of you. You're showing up as the hermit. So you've done some deep soul searching here and you're trying to, out of all of these options that you have with the seven of cups, out of all of these cups, you're trying to create something. Why is the Seven of Cups here? <clears throat> yeah, your happiness. See the Seven of Cups? You have all of these options, and I feel like there's some confusion here. I'm feeling like the options, Pisces, are... The Hermit is here, so I feel like you already have an objective. You already know what you want, but you're trying to place everything exactly where it's supposed to go to make something work out perfectly here in your favor. But there's confusion because I'm seeing you, you know, in the Ten of Cups energy right now. So I feel like you're happy. Um, things are going well. But there's, there's something here missing where you need to put things together because you're sitting here in the Seven of Cups. So there's some dissatisfaction here on what you're trying to create. 
to have your Ten of Cups. I'm feeling like three things. Two or three things. It's like a hint that I'm getting. Because I'm seeing you. It's like you've turned your back on the past. You've walked away. And now you're looking out into your future. You're um, leaving things behind. You've gotten that to that point, And now you're in a place where there is hope for the future. There's something here that you're trying to create for your future. But there's an energy here of waiting. Okay, and then we have the hermit. <clears throat> Why is the hermit here? <clears throat> Justice, the Two of Swords. We have Libra energy with Justice and Leo energy. <clears throat> yeah, you're feeling bound. This is Capricorn energy, the Devil, but you're feeling bound. You're fighting too hard for something. There's something here that you're you're already on higher ground. You've already made some accomplishments, but you're fighting too hard. It's causing a resistance. And the hermit, like I told you, the hermit is someone who's going deep within looking for answers because you've been through a lot in, in your past. And now... You're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. So you're you're looking for answers now, moving forward, because you are following a wish. And you're feeling... I feel like we have justice here, and so I feel like you may have some unfair odds of against you right now Pisces there's something unfair and you feel like there's not enough information you're feeling blindfolded you're feeling stuck something's making you feel stuck on a choice a decision here I'm seeing that you've stepped out of your emotions but the sun is the happiest card in the deck and the sun is also coming out to take the blindfold off so that you can see clearly because with the two of swords you're resisting you're holding back you're fighting too hard for something and i'm not sure what that is but i'm seeing the healing energy of the sun you're also you also have your arms crossed across your chest like you're trying to protect yourself but the sun is going to cover up all of this energy and i'm seeing justice coming into your life and then we have the five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here spirits the six of pentacles the ten of swords and the empress the Empress and the Emperor are here, and the, wow, you have a connection coming in. Look at that. The Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Emperor, and the Empress. What is going on, Pisces? Something's getting ready to happen here. So the underlying energy here is the Five of Pentacles. So you could be feeling a lack of money. Um, but definitely inside, you're feeling left out in the cold. You're kind of feeling like an emptiness. I feel like some of you are saying no, but if it's there's something missing here, and I can't put my finger on it yet.
You're showing up here as the Empress. This is Taurus energy, but this is you. So um, you're in this attractive energy where you you are attracting people to you pisces and um you're building off of this off of this energy ten swords in the back I want to find out more about this Ten of Swords before I say anything. Because something's coming to an end. I feel like you keep giving and giving and giving too much. Why is the Ten of Swords here? You're trying too hard. Okay, hold on a second, Pisces. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Strength. There was someone that was breadcrumbing you. Um, they betrayed you. This person betrayed you in a huge way. This could have been a Leo. But I'm seeing you going from having all of these swords put into you. And pain, heartbreak. And with all of this, you're able to, to give these could be children that you're giving to. I don't know who you're giving to here, but you're giving a lot. Even though there's um there's like there's this feeling of the 5 of pentacles you're giving to, are you giving to the point to where you don't have enough for you? It's like you're giving and giving. Let's keep going and see what's going on here. Because it's like you're giving to a, a point where you don't have enough for you. You're giving too much. You're trying too hard. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Cups again. Yeah, it's like you take one step forward and then you have to take two steps back. I'm seeing um, there's confusion here. I see you sitting in a wish fulfillment here, Pisces, and I'm seeing you planting the seeds that you need to plant. And um, there's some happiness here, happy home, happy family. There could be children here. But um, something's just not growing quick enough. And then we have the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? This Two of Cups is in the center of your reading. The Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's someone here with the Two of Cups, someone here that you're connecting with that you have love for. This person has love for you too, 
but I feel like you're keeping this person at a distance. And I'm seeing this person sending messages back and forth. But you're holding back, Pisces. You're holding your sword up here. You're ready to cut this person out of your life. And I'm not sure who this person is, but I feel like you're, you've had enough of this person. This could, this could be someone who keeps asking and asking for something. And then we have the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Seven of Wands. The Moon. And the Hierophant. This, whoever this person is that's showing up in your energy, this could be a Cancer or a Taurus or another Pisces even. But this person shows up here as, as someone who lies. Um, they're keeping a secret. They're feeling very defensive, very guarded. You see, they're wanting to fight for you, Pisces, but they're keeping a secret. They want a new beginning with you, but there's something about this person having a secret that they're not willing to reveal. They're very defensive about it. And then we have the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Five of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. And the hangman. Look at that. Okay, so we have the five of swords right here looking at the home. The four of wands. And this person's being very cold. Narcissistic. Mean. Cruel words. Over here... We have another five, and I'm seeing this person regretting. They're looking at the home. They're looking at what was lost. They're regretting this loss of what they've done. That's why you show up. Here's the queen of swords to this person. And the, whoever this is, they're moving towards you here very slowly. As the Knight of Pentacles, it's someone who's making a plan. They're trying to come up with an idea. This is someone that you're not taking any action for, Pisces. You're not taking action towards this person. And then we have the world. Why is the world here? The Four of Cups. The world again. And the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. We have the Scorpio, the death card at the bottom of the deck. This person's coming towards you with an apology. This is a cycle that has completely closed. It's over. It's done. Because this person was being um, very, very much in their head, not in their heart. And they made a decision they can't take back. They ghosted you. And now they're really up in their head about it. This person could be at a distance from you. 
This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. They were so, so, so cold, though. There could be a divorce here. There were, there were words spoken between the two of you. Why is the King of Swords here? See, there's that same King of Pentacles right there where that's um, going to be coming towards you with communication. Why is the King of Swords here? The Lovers. Look at this connection. This connection is... I mean, this is a twin flame soul connection. It's a very strong connection. There's a lot of love here. This could be a Gemini. This is someone who... I'm seeing you here keeping quiet, keeping to yourself. There's a train going by, if you guys can hear it. You're keeping to yourself over here, but you're... You even keep this person to yourself. And this person, they're making a decision here to tell you to communicate with you because there's ghosting here. So let's see what's going to happen here. This is kind of interesting. Why is the Seven of... See, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this apology. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? This could be someone that you were married to. There's two women here, and I don't know what the significance of that is, but I think it's significant to someone. There's There could be a blended family here. This is you. The Queen of Cups is you. Why is the Queen of Wands here? This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, so there's a conflict here with someone else. I don't know what's going to happen here. There's a conflict here with a third party. And I'm not sure whose side that third party's on. try to find out more about um, these first these energies that I pulled up over here okay because we have the king of swords with communication I mean the king of pentacles and communication coming in Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirits? I'm seeing this communication, Pisces, is someone who, I mean, this is marriage. This is happy home, happy family. This is marriage. Is this truth or, you know, what is this? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Who is the Queen of Wands?
Okay, so it's like all happiness, all, you know, this person is going to come and tell you they want to have it all with you. I'm seeing that this could be an Aries or a Leo. They're coming towards you here, taking a leap of faith. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Devil. This is Capricorn energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Yep, so apparently you got someone where there's blocked communication, which we keep seeing in Pisces energy. Um, that this person's feeling very attached to you. You could be thinking about this person a lot because they're thinking about you. They're feeling left out in the cold. And this is someone who I'm getting this feeling and energies here someone who wants to come home who's coming towards you with an apology here they see you as their happiness this person wants to offer you it all <clears throat> okay so let's see what advice well before we do that let's see what this person wants to say to you pisces What does this person want to say with to Pisces? A message for Pisces. My life is not as together as it seems. And I want to feel that way again. And one more. Just being near you is intoxicating. And on the bottom of the deck, I feel you even though we are apart. Okay. And then let's get some advice here, Pisces, for you. <clears throat> advice for Pisces spirits. Advice for Pisces. Believe in the impossible. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Expect powerful change and you and your loved ones are safe. And on the bottom, bottom of the deck, it's time to take action. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. Um, thank you so much for being here with me, Pisces. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and leaving me your beautiful comments. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.